Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at a product that's going to give Bluetooth functionality to any music playback system that you have that doesn't have it already. This is TK. Let's check it out. This is the FOSS Power NFC enabled Bluetooth 4.0 audio receiver. Uh, the box is pretty simple, really there's not much because this gives us a picture of the unit itself. We can play music, you have, uh, the ability to have a microphone and the NFC ability function in here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open it up. We have a quick instruction manual just to give us explanation as far as the ports, the interfaces and how to turn it on and how to turn it into pairing mode. And I'll walk you through guys through the process on this one. Put this on the side and here it is. Pretty much the size of a hockey puck. That's the only way I can explain it. Uh, the NFC tag is right there on the top. The mic is sitting right there and it just says FOSS power. Uh, we have three buttons here. We have volume up, volume down, as well as play and pause in the middle. Non-slip grip here so that it doesn't slip away. And as far as the back, we have four ports. Uh, we have the left and right channel for connection as well as the audio out. So you can either interface directly into it with a right and left cable, or you can use the audio out with the provided cable. And, I'll, and then of course the mic USB powering charge. This is power in, it's a five volt DC at one amp. And if we have the LED off and on function, there's a ring here that's hard to see right now because it's not on, but this gives us the ability to actually have uh, more of a, a responsive lighting mo uh, mood to music. As long as the music is between 25 to 75% on the out on the input, you should be able to see some reflections within the blue LEDs here. And you can turn them off if you don't want, otherwise just the sync LED will turn on. The rest of the box is pretty simple, nothing big. We have the power brick, five volts and one amp. Uh, we have the micro USB charging cable that we'll be able to use connecting it there. And then we have a headphone jack, uh, mail, basically mail to mail. There's an additional cable that is a basically an RCA with a, you know the two right and left channel, which I have connected to my speaker. And I'm gonna show you guys why I thought that this was really functional for us. So one of the main reasons why this is very functional, you can either connect this directly to a receiver or anything that doesn't have Bluetooth functionality, but does have an ability to actually receive audio input. And then you can actually use it as an audio receiver with Bluetooth functionality and get all the benefits of Bluetooth. So I'm gonna actually use it on my desktop speakers because these speakers are pretty big speakers that I have them connected to my PC, but I want to be able to use them without having to plug in or actually turn on my PC, turn on my Remix OS PC, just to be able to play back music. I want to be able to just play music off my phone directly to them. So I'm going to switch over real quick to a handheld uh, to my phone right now. I'm going to take a quick video showing you guys how I'm plugging it in. This is the setup right here. We're going to basically plug in the three and a half millimeter headphone jack. I already have it plugged into my speakers, and here's a power cable directly into the unit. This is how it would look like. We have the uh, LED connected. It turned on, and it gave us an audio indication saying that it's connected. Uh, you do need to keep the power connected as there's no battery built into this and pretty much you could just leave it there and then no, not have to worry about it. Now comes the moment of truth. Um, I have it connected to my OnePlus 3. It's easy. You just tap the NFC tag. Uh, just as a heads up, the NFC tag for the OnePlus 3 is somewhere in the top part of the phone. So you just tap it on, connected and sync. For the unit itself, when you first pair it on, you have to press all three buttons for five seconds till it turns the red and blue light to telling you that basically it's on and it's ready to be paired. Once you pair it, you're especially using the tapping the tap to pair, you're pretty much set and you can play music directly to it. Uh, there's really not much to do other than just basically enjoy the music. Um, and at this point, I don't need to worry about my monitor or anything. As long as my speakers are on, I'm using this actually, it should be pretty easy. And so I can control the volume from my phone. And I just paused the song straight off my phone. I'm gonna put the phone here and I'm gonna go directly into the unit itself and we're gonna play the song again. And then raise the volume from it. Maximum volume, maximum volume. It will tell us uh, on the unit itself as far as if it reaches maximum volume or not. But the main benefit is you can interface directly from the phone or from the player and it works pretty good and I can pause it, play it, uh, and it works pretty good. As far as setup, it's pretty simple. You just need to figure out what you have that doesn't have Bluetooth that you can enjoy basically with having Bluetooth functionality, your TV, your receiver, um, your PC speakers if they don't have Bluetooth and you don't wanna you know, turn on your entire PC just to be able to listen to them or even have them plugged in. This will work and it will work very easy and very simple. Just make sure there's a power source and plug it in and you're pretty much set and you can just put it where you need it. And it has a pretty good range as far as Bluetooth. Just be aware obviously is as the more, if you put any walls between you and the receiver, you're gonna have degradation in signal, but that's typical to any Bluetooth headphones that if you've ever used any Bluetooth headphones before. 
I want to say thank you very much for allowing me to review this unit. Uh, it was very, very nice. I'll give you guys a link in the description below to be able to check it out if you guys are interested for one. Uh, very simple to set up, very easy, very minimalistic. Again, thank you for the support. Like and subscribe as usual, and I will see you guys in the next one. Initial thing, it says let's get started. S swipe left for widgets. So we'll go ahead and swipe to the left. Front-facing camera. Fingerprint sensor is at the bottom. And again, this isn't a button. It's